Ghan today's show said that they've come up with a new recipe, not the usual recipe of cooking pilau. So let's cross over to this other side of a studio and um, I met <laughs> Chef Jonathan yes. and Bernard, Chef Bernard Omweri. Yes. All right. Now, these two gentlemen are going to cook for us pilau. But just before you start, let me ask you yes. a cheeky question. Do you cook at home? <laughs> uh, every time I get a chance, I do. You do? And yes. you? Yes, me too. So, when I get a chance, I cook. Okay, I think we need to visit you people frequently. <laughs> Let's talk about making pilau. It's the festive season. Yes. The Christmas festive season. And pilau never misses on mm -hmm. any menu. Mm -hmm. Like, ni kama chapati squeezy. You know, pilau has to be there. Yes. And we're used to pilau of these pilau, pilau, pilau beef, pilau chicken, yes. pilau vegetable. Yes. So tell us the kind of pilau that you're going to make for us this morning. Uh, today, the pilau that we've made, it's a... Um, we, we've done the pilau without any meat items, and then uh -huh. we did uh, chicken, chicken on the side, aside. so that it can complement the pilau. Okay. And as well, I will be doing a uh, kachumbari uh -huh. uh, that has tomatoes, onions, cucumber, uh -huh. and dania. And okay. Yes. So the pilau without meat, is it, am I right to say it's a vegetarian pilau? Yeah, it's a yes. vegetarian. It's a vegetarian yes, pilau. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Now, fuck chef. news. And you just take us through how you, how the pilau is made. And especially, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, ugali. Yes. Like, ni ni know, you moja moja. Very true. So tell us, how the, take us through the process, how to make pilau from scratch until finish. For that, I will invite Chef Bernard to okay. take it Okay. okay, first of all, I'd like to introduce this sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pilau masala. Uh -huh. Pilau uh, salsa vade. So, pilau salsa vade. Yes, it's a new sauce that uh -huh. we came up with, uh -huh. which makes your uh, work easy for cooking pilau. So you don't just, need all this G pilau you, masala? Yeah, you don't need any expertise in making the pilau. Okay. It's just water, uh -huh. rice, and the sauce. Okay. Yeah. So you made your own sauce? I made my own sauce. Okay. okay. Yeah. So what you need is this, water and rice. Uh -huh. To get the best pilau, First of all, you need to uh, fry the rice uh -huh. in the sauce. Uh -huh. You warm the rice, the sauce first, okay. then fry the rice inside the sauce to make it, um, coat it with oil a bit, uh -huh. and then you add your hot water inside. Okay. So it's not the usual one where you see you measure cups, maybe if it's a cup okay, of rice. Okay, you have to measure normally. If it's a cup of rice, you put two, two, two yes. cups, and then you have to wait for the water to boil. The traditional <laughs> African way, though. Yes, it's African, but yeah, yeah. It, it used to work. Okay, it yeah. used to, meaning yeah. it's not working anymore. It's working, yeah. Okay. Let me say it's working, but now it, this is a new invention. Okay. It's making your work easier. Okay. Yes. Invention by Chef Omweri. Yes. Okay, sour. Twendele. <laughs> so now you have, um, you just need the sauce, water and rice. But I can see, then, actually I can see like five, five different sauce. They're not different, yes. it's the same. It's the same? Yes. Okay, so you never be bear. Uh, I <laughs> on a light that. note, though, <laughs> it's the same sauce. Enjoy, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. So as you can see, my rice is um, separated because I used measurements of uh, the water. Mm -hmm. The ratio you said, mm -hmm. one is to two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. One cup rice, two uh, cups, cups of, of water. water. Yes. Okay. Plus the sauce. The, then you don't put. You know, when you're growing up, tunkotunona, it's like you put makajuya, the lead. It, it depends on the quantity of pilau you are okay. cooking. Okay. But for so this one, this, this you don't need to put maca. Okay, you don't need to put maca. <laughs> yeah. So we are teaching you, by the way, to ensure that today, as you cook that pilau, inatoka moja moja, sitoke ile ugali. What you just need to do is to cover it properly. Okay. Yeah, so that the steam doesn't uh, escape. Okay, so yes. that's the vegetarian pilau. Yes. Now, hey, ikukusi jini anzie kablata. Because the aroma. Yes. You can see. Okay. A nice chicken. Uh -huh. uh, for the chicken, um, we used uh, our, we have another sauce. Uh -huh. It is called sotola. Sotola. Sotola is a kamba word for cherry tomatoes. Hey, yes. friend. One or two kambani. <laughs> One or two kambani. <laughs> because uh, those are my roots. Uh -huh. Yes. And um, I love my roots. So apart from the mangoes, yes. so there is a saucepan. There butter. is a saucepan. Yeah. Okay. Sour. Yes. So you just need to boil your chicken mm -hmm. and then you can uh, fry uh, a bit of uh, onions and uh, garlic mm -hmm. on a pan. When it is ready and well browned, you add in the chicken and then you add in the sotola sauce. Mm -hmm. 
and then you add uh, the, the water that you boil. Uh -huh. Don't don't waste it. Just uh -huh. keep it for making the stew later. Okay. So just keep it aside as uh, as the stock. Uh -huh. After the chicken is well uh, cooked, you add in the the water that was extracted when you're boiling the chicken. Okay. Yes. But then uh, let me ask you a question. Yes. <coughs> about the the names of this. So yeah, it sounds so. You know, foreign, not Kenyan. <laughs> the, uh, the pilau salsa word. Yeah. The pilau salsa word was inspired. <coughs> the pilau is a, it, 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 it a Kenyan word. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it, for the salsa, it, this, the word salsa is like a kachumbari. It's a mixture of the vegetables uh -huh. to make the salsa. Okay. And then uh, vard, vard is a, is a French word meaning uh, green, uh -huh. which is associated with making fresh food. Okay. And since we are making the pilau very fresh and uh -huh. with, with locally sourced ingredients, uh -huh. that's, we want, that's why we came up with that name. Okay, so that, we have pilau, market. then we have the chicken. Yes. My goodness, I feel like feasting. <laughs> and it's not yet <laughs> even done. Dig in, dig okay. in. Okay, so then I now let's like talk about the kachumbari. kachumbari. Now, for this kachumbari, as I start making it, uh, it is, it is um, just the normal kachumbari that you make in the house. Uh -huh. But at this, I added uh, the cucumbers uh -huh. just to put uh, some an other angle, to add another angle to, this, to the kachumbari uh -huh. and also to make it more nutritious. Okay. Yes. So you don't need the lemon because I can't see lemon. Yeah, I didn't bring lemon because... Uh, but if you want, you can put lemon. If, if you want, you can put lemon juice, yeah. Okay. Just to enhance the flavors. Okay. Yes. So uh, I enjoy uh, making food in... Um, chunky way uh -huh. to make it uh, a bit rough and rusty. Uh -huh. That is my style of cooking. So you don't have to cut it into those small pieces you the way... You don't have to. You see, most people... Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you know that you can't. You, you, dice, you dice them into small yes, pieces. <laughs> yes. See, uh, this saves a lot of time for me to concentrate on making the dish more flavor. Uh -huh. Other than me spending a lot of time trying to get small cuts and the, clear the right cuts. Size. So I just do it roughly. But I, then I make sure that I'm concentrating on making it to have uh, good flavors. Okay. Yes. So I wanted to ask, is yes. it a must for someone to have kachumbari when you've done, when you're cooking pilau chefumweri? No, it's not a must. It's you can have coleslaw, a different salad. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So if I don't need like this, I can just have any other salad. Yes. Okay. Mm. And then um, for people who don't like onions, like I don't like onions, okay. but <laughs> there are people who don't like the, the smell of onion. Uh -huh. What can you do to ensure that, you know, after eating the, the salad, you don't have that breath? Okay. Uh, for that, um, uh, I would advise to use a lemon or just uh, buy, uh, lemon juice, uh -huh. or you can just bite a bit of uh, lemon. It, it, it washes the the odor away. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So even the onions, no, no, nakata kubwa kubwa. Nakata kubwa kubwa. See, le ile ndogo ndogo ya uchoyo. See, ile uchoyo. What we are wa fry. What we are fry. Yes. Then are you going to also to add dania? Yes, it is right here. Uh -huh. So I'm going to garnish it with dania. Okay. Yes. And then when you're doing pilau or, or the chicken, what what kind of oil would you advise someone to use? Solid or liquid? Liquid. Liquid. Why not yeah. solid? No solid as, um, as we know, it's uh, the cholesterol levels are a bit higher than the liquid one. Okay. Yes. So, so no one will get a piece of dania kidogo. Yes, no one will get a piece of dania. But is it dania? Do you want to make it a Is it dania? Every corner. Okay. So I'll add in some salt. Mm -hmm. Just three shakes are enough. Uh -huh. And voila, there we have our kachumbari. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, <laughs> if I may ask my colleagues in studio. Mm -hmm. Uh, the person who's handling the camera. Mm -hmm. This too, you can just lift that, lift the lid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to show you the pilau that we have, the chicken sauce. But this chicken in chicken sauce, do you know Gina? It is uh, mm -hmm. sotola. Sotola, yes. because of the spice. The, 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 the different sauce that we use, the, the one I told you that I made it with the cherry tomatoes. Okay. Yes. And and the kachumbari. Yes. Now, eh, naona kuna plates hapo. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, I would like to serve you if you're ready to have some. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Please yeah. go ahead. Okay. And of course, our viewers, as you're watching at home, we're just trying to show you how to celebrate this day yeah. with um, your loved ones, how to make pilau the right way. As you can see, ni pilau imeva moja moja. Si le pilau, quote and quote, what people say pilau njeri, si le pilau ni me shikana. Pilau mwitu. Pilau Yeah. And then, um, uh, of course, with chicken curry, 
You said not even chicken curry, chicken, 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 chicken sotola. Chicken, chicken? chicken? Sotola. Chicken sotola because yeah. of the spices and, and the kachumbari. Let me let me call one of the ladies who make us look so beautiful on our screen, Esther, just to come and join me here. And um, my other colleague, a camera man, um, uh, just come, come, <laughs> come. These are people who like being behind the scenes. They don't want to be seen. But today, we really need to appreciate everyone who does uh, this awesome job. Our directors up there, I hope we'll be able to also get a test of this. Yes. Um, uh, Esther, in <laughs> Iniako. Now tell us whether the chef wamefanya a very good yes, job. I'll hold this for you. Onja, alafu utuambie yes, kama wamefanya a very good job. Mm -hmm. Alafu na ipi pila onjeri. Unone neva moja moja. Aya, <laughs> ionje iyo pilao. And then also I, we can have one also yeah. from... Yeah, and then also just uh, a small portion for me because Staki Kushiba Sana Nishindo Kwanya Kazi have another top of the hour to go. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Ikoje? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're having today, we're just doing things a bit differently here on KT News Center. Just to celebrate this day with you, as much as we are working, we're also having fun here in our studio. Just to, you know, it's it's Nitamu. It's yummy, like super super yummy. Super super yummy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now I also need to, I need to give you a spoon. Just help him with a spoon. And I came with my manager today, and I don't, I don't know why he doesn't want to come and try. Manager, taki. Una jo pengine manager mezo ya manager kama mezo ya kukula ita kukula. Karibu, karibu kule. So, and and how is the kachumbari? Kachumbai is delicious. Okay, so it's a true, um, it's 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 a testimony that uh, this gentleman can cook. Let me also test it. Hey, lakini men pakulia mingi. Ah, today is Christmas. <laughs> okay, you can hold this for me. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So. <clears throat> it is so tasty. I can carry the plate to the other side. Yes. Niki soma story moja. Nina kula. Nasoma nina kula. I like. That would be awesome. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we need to end up the show. Thank you so much for, you know, um, for testing this. I don't know where my producer is. Come, please come. Sadly, I'll, 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 um, oh, goodness, my editor, Janet Chapia, is um, uko kwa gallery mm. and ensure things, you know, work. Definitely. And so, <laughs> Felix Maringa is my producer, so, um, uh, Felix, test the pilau. I can't, tell, I, I can't, tell, I can't, I can't say uh, enough mm -hmm. to, 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 to uh, enough gratitude mm -hmm. for you to call your crew on stage no it's you know it's, it's very probably. important because people always think that um that this show is a one-man show yes. but it's not it has a whole team of people from producers to directors to people who do the lighting the camera crew my editor i mean it's the managing editor it's it's a whole crew so it's not a one-man show it's not a one-man shoot. Every time I'm watching, I'm, I'm always asking myself, I, uh, I've always thought that it is just, this, just just you on the show. No, it's not but just me. <laughs> it, it is good that the viewers it's today can experience the same and, and, and see that there is a lot of people to make sure that it's happening. It's not a one-man show, Felix. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Super delicious. <laughs> Super delicious. <laughs> Super delicious. Super <laughs> delicious. <Super focus. laughs> I'll have to eat mine later on. Okay. But can you tell us... Um, uh, Chef, probably, where can people find you to do this for a living? Of course, we're going to pick a new money. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but where can people find you? What, like, uh, and what you do every day? Uh, I'll start with you. <laughs> um, we are Rustic Cuisine. You can find us on our Facebook page. Um, at uh, It's called Rustic Cuisine. And um, you can uh, reach us through our cell phone numbers. I will tell you mine is 0720-918245. You can call me anytime if you have an event because I do a mm -hmm. lot of events. Okay. And I do, also, I, I do house calls as well if people mm -hmm. need training on how to cook. And lately I've had a request to start training uh, young kids. Mm -hmm. Young kids on how to cook. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chef. 
Yeah, um, you can reach me on 0720-699-382. Uh, mm -hmm. That's my number. Mm -hmm. Also on Instagram, um, Chef Bernard on Tita. Mm -hmm. yes. Chef Bernard on yes. Tita. On Tita. On Tita, not yes. Chef Bernard on Mweri. <laughs> it's, it's, this, uh, it's my other name. Okay, thank yeah. you so much, Chef Mweri and Chef uh, um, uh, Mulo Jonathan. The food was delicious. Thank you. Now, um, I need to wind up the show, okay. but just for the first hour. We'll be coming back uh, at 10 for the second hour uh, for more updates here on KTN News Center. But for now, I need to fist on my food. And of course, <laughs> we have also shown you how to cook pilau. Not pilau njeri, not pilau gali, pilau inyemeva, moja, moja. Time to take a short break here on KTN News Center. Let's meet again at exactly 10.30.